<clears throat> oh, my goodness. Kids, Homer, we're late for church. I'm glad I dressed last night. Oh, I'd love to go with you, honey, but I got a lot of work to do around the bed. Homer, the Lord only asks for an hour a week. In that case, you should have made the week an hour longer. Lousy God. <clears throat> and the very same goes for Ezekiel. Which brings us back to our starting point, the nine tenets of constancy. Uh. Damn it! <laughs> well, I seem to have lost my place. So I'll start over. Ah, oh, for the love of crumb cake. Our sermon today is on constancy, and as much as the. Yay! Oh man, am I glad to get out of here! Hey, calm down. You're wrinkling your church clothes. Who cares? This is the best part of the week. It's the longest possible time before more church. Church shouldn't be a chore. It should help you in your daily life. It should, but it doesn't. Sermons about constancy and prudicitude are all very well and good, but the church could be doing so much more to reach out to people. Oh, I don't see you volunteering to make things better. Well, okay. I will volunteer. I wasn't prepared for that. All done. I swept the aisles and put all the collection plates in the dishwasher. Well, and you wouldn't believe how many dead pigeons there were on the organ. Marge, you are a real time saver. Do you know, thanks to you, I've rediscovered a form of shame that's gone unused for 700 years? Wow. Lovejoy here. Reverend, this is Principal Skinner. I'm facing a crisis, and I didn't know to whom to turn. All right. Mother's gone too far. She's put cardboard over her half of the television. We rented Man Without a Face. I didn't even know he had a problem. What should I do? Well, maybe you should read your Bible. Um, any particular passage? Oh, it's all good. All right. Thanks anyway. Ugh. You handle it. Me? No, I... I wait, I can't... I, hmm? Hello? Uh, yeah, hi. I'm calling for Reverend Lovejoy. H who is this? Oh, well, this is, um, the, uh, the listen lady. Yeah, well, listen lady. I got so many problems, I, I don't even know where to begin here. Okay. Uh, why don't you start from the top? All righty. Uh, number one, I've lost the will to live. Oh, that's ridiculous, Mo. You've got lots to live for. Really? That's not what Reverend Lovejoy's been telling me. Wow, you're good, thanks. Hi, it's me again. I got another problem. Uh, this one's about my cat. Yeah, shut up! I'm asking her! Why would you volunteer at the church? I don't know. Guilt? <laughs> Volunteering is for suckers. Do you know that so-called volunteers don't even get paid? See, all along I've been telling Carl I'm married to a beauty queen. Now he's coming over for dinner. Hmm, Lenny, I'm sure he'll like your wife no matter what she looks like. No, 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 it's worse than that. I don't even have a wife. I just said I did to, you know, be a big shot. <sighs> well, it's time to start telling the truth. Now, when I have to tell my husband the truth, I cook him a big, delicious dinner. By the time he's done eating, he's too full and tired to care what I have to say. Wow, that's great. When Carl comes over, I'll stuff him till he don't know what's what. <laughs> Seymour, I'm getting tired. Tell them we're going next. Well, I'm not principal of the line, Mother. And you never will be. <laughs> <laughs>